lo que es el destino, caminando fui lo que fui, ay a Dios que será de vino, yo me muero. Hello, welcome to another Rumba Colombia slash man styling with La Suerte Dance School. My name is Michal, I'm here today with Dave, our in the house music geek. Uh, so it means that we will talk a bit more about music and we'll talk about uh, clave in particular. So I know it should be a class in which we are teaching you the styling, the body positioning and everything like that. But in my opinion, very significant, important element of developing your style is the musicality. Mm. And if you do nice moves, not in the proper moment in the music, I don't want to say it doesn't count, but it feels strange, yeah? Mm. We've seen this many times when people have fantastic style, but perform it in the wrong moment yeah. in the music. Some of the best performances I've seen has been, they've been very creative with the rhythm, but you always know that they're very grounded in the groove of the music. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can get grounded in the groove is getting comfortable with things like clave and kata patterns and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's important. Yeah, so it is, it is important to um, understand the rhythm. There is additional aspect of it, like we'll discuss today rumba clave in general. Yeah, so very often mm, people are telling like, well, what, what types of clave do we have? And you hear you have song clave and rumba clave. In general, the rumba clave is a lot deeper uh, subject. There is a lot more towards it and we'll discuss it. But what it gives you is uh, also the understanding on what you are dancing to. Because, for example, if you hear Yambu clave, you'll obviously dance different than if you hear Wawanko clave. And obviously, if you hear Columbia clave, you again interpret the music differently one more time. Mm. And there are songs right now that are appearing at the parties when 6-8 rhythm hits. Mm. And very often, people freak out. They don't know what to do. When from your perspective, I imagine this is the highlight of the I dance. Also, I also freak out, but I freak out in a positive way, not yeah. in a negative way. And yeah. I go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so in, in the past it was more in the way like, <gasps> what happens, what, what happens, <laughs> yeah, what do I do, what do I do? But now it's like, oh, okay, oh, it's, it's okay, it's, it's just a 6-8 bell, yeah, no problem, no problem. yeah, let's do a back one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so that's, that's, that's why we want to deal with it, that's why we want to talk about it, okay. So, you see the board next to us, but Tomorrow's actually, weather in the north <laughs> is going to be... <laughs> This board will be replaced with the image, so you'll see it a lot clearer because obviously now you probably can see something like whiteboard with a couple of scribbles there that they don't mean anything. But we'll start from the beginning and we'll explain you uh, what we written down in here and what's the way. So this is our notation for rhythms. So the top lines are in 4-4 four, four notation. Is, you call it 4-4 four, four yeah, or 8-8? Yeah. Eight, eight? What is the proper no, way from it's four, four. It's just two bars of four, yeah. four. Yeah. Okay. Two bars and four, four, and then we have two bars of six, eight. Mm. Okay. Um, so in two bars of four, four, we have sixteen blocks for notes, and in two bars of six, eight, we have twelve boxes for notes. And now we are filling them up with let's call it with axes, simply with axes, and uh, we point out where the note is being played. Let's start with explaining yambu clave. And what is interesting about rumba yambu that there are two different claves. Mm. So we have one coming from province of Havana and one coming from the province of Matanzas. And what was the difference? What's the difference? Well, one of them, the one in Havana is son clave. What, what is now called son clave it probably predated uh, son music, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, but it's, do you want me to play it? Or yeah, go on. I, okay. So, so this is this is one of the things. So Dave, Dave tells me like oh, all this notation is good. It's good for us. But what you guys need definitely as well is to listen to the rhythm. So, so not only is there a rhythm pattern, there's also a tempo associated with mm -hmm. yambu, and that is a very slow one. You know, it's more like this. Da, 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 mm. da, 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 mm. da, 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 da. I am Lusu, you say you're an animal. 
Ay an lusu yu sai unaning mai ki pi ka ti no muerte ki pi ka ti no muerte y si te asoma lo verá pasar y si te asoma lo verá pasar Cool. <laughs> so that was a small uh, introduction to rumba yambu. We never done video about yambu, uh, so we should mention that this is the slowest um, version of rumba. From men's perspective, it's an interpretation of old man dance very often. So we are dancing really, really slowly with a lot of detailed movement. Um, it's danced as a couple quite often. So there will be a girl dancing uh, Yambu as well. One day we'll get to Yambu, but that was Havana style. And Havana style is different than Matanza style. Like they said, it's basically free to son clave. Mm. So oh, that's another important thing to mention. There is nothing like two free rumba clave, is there? Or it could happen in timba music. It happens sometimes, yeah. or it feels like it's like that. Yeah, so when we talk about rumba clave, we don't really use two, three, or three, two direction mm -hmm. because the songs move around in clave. The singers will start a phrase maybe at the moment. start of clave mm -hmm. or part way through. And so, yeah, the default way to play it is three, the two. way to three, mm -hmm. two, what mm -hmm. we call three, two. Yeah. So, so basically, have you ever seen a different direction of clave in rumba? Have you ever experienced it or have you ever played it or have you ever had a song that would be this way? Yes, yeah, so there's, yeah, so for example, if I was playing, um, <clears throat> So that feels like it's two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but singing it. starts halfway through. Yeah? The singing starts halfway through. Yeah, so it's through. still three, two, just singing starts opposite. Yeah, so, we, so from dancing perspective, we would still synchronize to three, two clave. Yeah, yeah. I think you're very free to synchronize wherever you want as long as you synchronize yeah. it, it, <laughs> yeah, in, the in some okay, way. Fair enough. But, but, fair uh, enough. but yeah, the rumberos, they don't really speak of three, two, and two, yeah, three. They yeah. just think clave, that's yeah. what the clave is. But from is. dancing perspective, yeah, so in general, what, what, what we try to do here is to translate. Um, this musical language to the dancer's language because mm. we uh, operate slightly with slightly different terms. Yeah, mm. We had this discussion mm. with Uriel as well and uh, very often now even simple counting for us is different than mm. musicians, mm. Cuban musicians mm. count. Mm. Okay, so let's move on. We have uh, Yambu Matanza style and this is a quite interesting pattern because this is the pattern that we are using to finish our videos. So like, subscribe and press the bell. Like, subscribe and press the bell. Ta, 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 ta. So if you look on the second line here, one, one, two, one, two, one, one. So it comes in groups. So this is another way to think about rhythms. I like to think in this way very often. I kind of count the groups of beats coming together. Yeah. So like one, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, one. Uh, it's, it is the way. I know that not everybody will like this, but the same way, nobody, not everybody will like uh, numbers definitely, or yeah. not everybody will like the song. What is very important to notice is that Yambu, Matanza style clave and Wawanko clave are very, very related. In general, Wawanko clave is like Yambu, Matanza style without beats on three and five. Mm. So this is on, these are only two things removed. And if you think how you dance Wawanko, how you synchronize your step in Wawanko, you quite often count ta ta a ta a ta ta i ta 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 i pa pa um pa um pa 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 um pa um pa 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 um pa um pa 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 um pa um pa pa. So if you add to Wawanko clave the beats that your step is actually coming, the basic step, then you'll have. Yambu Matanza style clave. Pretty simple? Maybe. I hope it's not too complicated for you. I hope you understand that. And again, it is quite important to recognize this clave in the music because it's not Wawanko clave. So, for example, there are no vacunas in, in, in Yambu. Yeah, so if you hear 
Yambu Clave, you wouldn't start attacking the girl while dancing. That just doesn't fit the style because obviously Yambu is not Wawonko. Um, should we play a small uh, demo? I'll do the same song as before then, so I'll do... Nice one. Very often during a regular one one classes, we are using songs that have Matanza style Yambu clave because it just makes it simpler to learn the sequence. And then when you know the sequence well, then you can swap to one one which is obviously faster and with these beats missing. I don't know if there is any better method. I like this one. So you start slowly with Yambu Matanza style clave and you move towards um, Wawanko. So let's continue with Wawanko. This is obviously a lot faster rhythm. We've done a couple of Wawanko classes, so I will not talk what Wawanko is. I hope that when you are watching these videos or you already heard about Wawanko, you know this is the most common rumba style that appears in timba music mm. for sure. The style of rumba that is danced the most by the dancer applied to um, Social dance, basically. Yeah? Like, mm. I can't even imagine right now timba dance without uh, a bit of Wawanko no, in it. Yeah? No. It just uh, happens uh, never. Okay, um, can we have like small demo of uh, Wawanko clave mm. or song? If you have, you have some. Uh, let me think of a song. Yo no sé lo que es el destino. Caminando fui lo que fui. Ay adiós que será de vino. Yo me muero como baby. Yo me muero como baby. Nice one. You recognize <laughs> this song, maybe. So this is Wawanko. Again, we will not get into depth of this club. We're playing one, end of two, uh, end of four, six, seven. Very similar to Matanza style Yambu. Only those two beats are missing. And what we will discover in a minute is that it's very, very similar to Rumba. Columbia or basically 6-8 clave. Mm. But about 6-8 clave, I think we have to stop here because this is basically the main topic of our um, course. So rumba Columbia. In rumba Columbia, clave as pattern is not as common. You already know that when we are um, doing the classes, very often I sing kata for you. This is the most common um, pattern that, or the easiest pattern to get associated with steps. Uh, we've written down kata at the very bottom. We have also 6-8 bell written on our board uh, and this is called clave quite often as well. Mm, yeah. What was the name for it? Clave Africana, Africana is what I've heard, but there's, I think there's many different variations. This is a rhythm which is present in West Africa. It's originally come from there um, and been adopted into rumba. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want me to start with playing? Wait. Do you want me to play kata first? Because that's the most familiar one mm -hmm. in Colombia. So, that's, so that's when, when it comes to kata and rumba Colombia, uh, it's also played on this instrument, yes? Yeah, it's played on clave. Mm -hmm. And especially in Havana, the, the, the clave that they play, the, the pattern that they play is often this, which mm -hmm. goes... Ba, ba, da, ba, da, da, ba, 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 da, ba, da, da, ba. No, I don't have any change. 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 Mm -hmm. So let, let's, let's just relate it for a moment to um, like, subscribe and press the bell because it sounds very similar. So when I told you about this grouping beats with Yambu, we had one, one, two, one, two, one, one. And here we have one, one, two, one, two, three, one. So only this one part where we separated the three beats in Yambu. I mean, we didn't separate it. They are just like that. Um, they are together in Columbia Kata. So it's, it's very similar pattern. It can very often get switched in your head. So this is something really to practice. In general, the fact that patterns are uh, playing with our brains very, very often, and they're all switching direction, or you hear something almost identical to what you would like to hear. That happens a lot. I remember we had this discussion, that was a long time ago, uh, on the song class, I remember uh, you, you started hearing song clave opposite and you left the room, mm -hmm. you cleared your brain and you came back and said, okay, now I can hear it. <laughs> 
And I know that this, this is happening often. Obviously now, with a lot more percussion experience, I think it's very simple for you to reverse it. Or you still struggle with it occasionally? Yeah, yeah, I do struggle with it. I enjoy the struggle, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of the beautiful things about it, that it still confuses me, even after all these years of trying yeah. to understand it. it. it, it it's, it's funny, because sometimes you, you think like you hear it right, you hear it right, and then suddenly it switches. And you're, oh no, I'm opposite direction. So this is something what really does require practicing. Um, but again, let's, let's come back. So we, we had kata. Uh, can we play the bell pattern as well for comparison? One, two, three, four. Da 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 Gente a guameta, ronco na palomayo, ronco no palomayo, ronco na palomayo. Gente a guameta, ronco na palomayo, ronco na palomayo, ronco na palomayo. Okay, so I wanted just to put the kata on top of the bell so you can hear how it synchronizes because this is one of the really cool important skills when you are learning Colombia and all other 6-8 rhythms as well so many Afro-Cuban rhythms so you are able to fit kata imagine kata uh, on top of uh, any rhythm basically that, mm. that's uh, very cool so if you hear bata and if you can put kata on top of it I think it helps I know that uh, kata on top of bata <laughs> yeah kata uh, 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 <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, or, or obviously on, on, on top of the bell or in any other um, in any other six eight rhythm. I think it helps you to synchronize your steps simply. Okay, so we have bell and we have kata, and this is the cool part now. Look at those two patterns, bell pattern and kata pattern. They have some beats in common. I'll make them flash right now when we talk. You can see that there are five beats like that, that they are appearing in the bell and in kata at the same moment. And if you look at clave pattern, it's exactly that. So the beats that are coming together in the bell pattern and in kata are creating a clave. I don't know what was first. I don't want you to say like, oh, this guy said that if you combine bell and kata, uh, this is how clave was created. I don't know that. I don't know that. This is my observation, yeah? That if I take common beats of bell and kata, I'll get clave. Uh, we didn't tell you a song for bell, but we've said it in many other episodes. So. I like her, I don't like him, I like her, I don't like him. Yeah, learning these songs really helps you to learn the patterns. And um, Dave created a song for Clave as well, but he's not very proud of it, so he always asks me to sing it. <laughs> so it's a Kache Pikachu song, so it's Kache Pikachu, Kache Kache Pikachu, Kache Pikachu, Kache Kache Pikachu, Kache Pikachu, Kache Kache Pikachu. So you can you can think it this way. Actually, yeah. When the first uh, some of the first ethno ethnomusicologists went to Africa, West Africa, and they studied like the music that the, mu the people were making, one of this this uh, six eight rumba clave as we call it now was heard by them. And they interpreted it in a very similar way, not catch a Pikachu, because that was obviously <laughs> quite a while ago. So that's what they but, do. but it makes you think when you when you do it like that, it makes you think of that that. that one and two and uh, one and two and three and uh, one and two and uh, one and two and three and uh, have I said that so, right? One so and two and I, I like one and two, which is actually a bar of five eight, getting technical now, and a bar of seven eight. Okay. Which combines to make twelve, you know. But that's that. It's a fundamental misunderstanding, mm -hmm. and this is why I don't like this catch a Pikachu mm -hmm. thing, because you don't feel where the beat is mm -hmm. from that at all. Yes. You think it's oh it's, it's this block and then it's this block and then both not even, mm -hmm. but the most important thing is to be able to go ba ba um ba um ba 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 um ba um ba 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 um ba um ba ba or no I don't have any change no I don't have any change no I don't have any so when you play the kata actually your right hand is playing the rumba clave rhythm in six a and your left hand is playing the beats. And that's mm -hmm. why there's this similarity between clave and kata. Yeah, I showed you this exercise uh, in one of the first classes. I linked it somewhere, somewhere in the card so you can go back to it. So we've played with two hands, like Dave was saying, one hand is playing the beat, second is playing uh, clave, and in total you get kata. So yeah.
Yeah, I'll give you the link for that so you can get back and, and practice that if you need. So one of the ways to learn the 6-8 clave is to use kata pattern and this clapping technique exactly like we showed you a second ago. And the second method would be to take the bell pattern. So I like her, I don't like him, I like her, I don't like him. And there are these two moments in, during the pattern, I like, I don't, I like, I don't. And you take eyes away. So you have... No. <laughs> <laughs> so you have like her, don't like him, like her, don't like him, like her, don't like him, and yeah, yeah, and then you have uh, clave again. Another method is to take the kata and sing kata and try to play clave on top of that. Pa pa ra pa ra pa 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 ra pa ra pa 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 ra pa ra pa 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 ra pa ra pa pa. Mm -hmm. So all this method works. And now uh, we told you at the beginning that 6-8 uh, clave by itself, it's not common. We are using more often bell or no more often kata, but the, the bell in Abakwa is playing very often um, clave. So that's again, the clave is more rhythmical concept than just, than just an instrument, because like we showed you before, kata can be played with clave instrument, but clave rhythm in Abakwa is played on on the bell. Uh, and at the same time, I think this is more common use is in wawanko. Mm. When you speed up wawanko clave, very often you start getting six, eight feel. Yeah. Yeah, so the magic of rumba is that it's not confined to 6-8 or 4-4, four, four, really. When, when you see really good players uh, making this music, um, they're, they're switching between different fields all the time. And especially when it gets fast, it goes from being um, and then it's like, is that 4-4, four, four? is that 6-8? You don't really know, it's in the grey area between. Mm -hmm. It's about feel. You know, mm -hmm. that's what they say. I know it, you don't like that word feel. You've got I, I, to feel it. No, no, so, but, so, so but I, in music, I explained, it does have a specific... I explained that many times. So I think, in my opinion, feel very often comes with understanding mm. or after understanding. Mm. I know that for many people, it's opposite uh, direction and many people like to listen, like you said. So mm. they prefer just to listen to the same rhythm over and over and over and over. Mm. And they start feeling it even without understanding yeah. what's happening inside. Yeah. I prefer it other way, so I prefer to understand it first, then try to execute it slowly, speed it yeah. up and get to the point when I can feel yeah. it. But obviously, I, that's my mm, European way, let's call it this way. And that's it, and there are rhythms that won't fit in boxes like this, or boxes like this. Actually, they, they break all the kind of rules regarding mm -hmm. that and for those rhythms you do just have to listen to them as well i'm thinking of brazilian rhythms like um what's played in samba music that's fixed again it's mm -hmm. between four and six and you could if you wrote that out on the page it, you wouldn't be able to do it it's, mm -hmm. it's impossible uh, even even like you're showing me this um notation that you are playing the triplets or Mm. three notes in triple feel on top of four, yeah, four so, music. Yeah, so that's it. So there are, you can write that down, mm -hmm. for instance. But yeah, there are some things which yeah, cannot, I'm cannot not, be written I'm down. Not, I'm not musically trained, so I, I prefer uh, our boxes. And I hope that helped you today. And we'll come back next time with a uh, regular dancing class. We, we are thinking about dancing with handkerchiefs. So maybe there will be even three of us, me, Dave and uh, Andrea. And we'll do something extra. I think dancing with handkerchiefs uh, changes a lot of again feel of dance mm. so we'll try to do that next time for you and we'll prepare some cool sequence if you'd like to watch it like subscribe and press the bell 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 follow us on facebook follow us on instagram you can become a patron of our channel uh, you can find all links in the description if you have any questions about this class and i believe you could have because i'm not entirely sure we explained everything very clearly um leave the comments and we'll try to refer to that and maybe we'll do another video in future and we'll explain something more in depth if necessary i think for entry point this is enough it's important to start recognizing different patterns. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to say. Very often during the regular Roomba classes, if we do it in here in person face to face, uh, for warm up, I'm playing relatively random song. And very often I'm asking 
participants of the class, what style of Roomba is it? Um, at the beginning, I would say everybody was struggling, but mm. now it's, it's relatively easy. Yeah, I think what you should do is create a Spotify playlist of mixed Yambu, Columbia and Wawanko, post it under the link under the YouTube video, and then people can test themselves and go, oh, I hear but ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, that must be Columbia, oh, I hear. That's a good idea, yeah. that's a good idea. And um, even more, if you want, I, I'll make I'll make this playlist, that's not a problem. Um, I'll make, I'll, but most of Colombia are called Colombia Libra. <laughs> 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 and I'll make, I'll make this playlist, I'll make this playlist. And then if you want to, to play a guessing game in the comments, and if you would like to check with us if you are correct about the Roomba style, yeah. you can do that and we'll check if, if you are right. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.